What's going on guys? This is Britter here back with more Codex and we are on exercise 11, the wiki article, attributes. Attributes are additional settings that we can use to customize an element. They are usually name slash value pairs like name equals value, where the name and the value are separated by an equal sign. The name indicates the attribute we are setting for our element. The value for our attribute is surrounded by double quotes. For example, by default, the ordered list element uses numbers to label its list, list item elements. If we want to use lowercase letters instead, we do ol type equals a. Or if we want to use Roman numerals, i. <clears throat> Guess what? We've already been using a few different attributes in the course. Remember when we learned about images? The image element uses a source attribute to specify the file path of an image. And remember that width equals 250 attribute from the previous exercise? Yep, that was an attribute that sets the width of the image. In addition to source, we can also use the alt attribute to make our image is more accessible. If our images can't appear for some reason, the alt text is displayed instead. This allows assistive devices to read our text and describe the image. Attribute and anchor tag. We also come, came across attributes when learning about using links with a anchor tags. The href attribute is where we add a URL that can be visited when the hyperlink text is clicked. We can also use the target attribute and set it to blank to make the link open in a new browser tab. You've been asked to write a Wikipedia article about one of your heroes, dead or alive. Create a wiki article that, ma that mimics their wiki profile. Make sure to include the following. One heading that says biography, an image of that person that includes alternative text, one paragraph with at least two sentences, one link in the text opens on a new tab. Bonus, how can we adjust the size of the image using attributes? How can we make the image a hyperlink? So that being said, um, all right, let's go to Wikipedia here on our other screen. And who do we want to put? I'm going to put somebody crazy. Um, we're just going to say Harry Potter. Um, so we're going to do our doc type HTML, we're going to do HTML, we're going to close it, inside that we're going to do a head with the title, then we're going to close it, then we're going to do a body, then we want a heading, so we'll do H3, um, an image, a paragraph, and a link. Um, and then we'll close the body off, right? So title, Harry Potter biography. We'll grab an image of Harry Potter. Image source equals dupe. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, so we got the picture, we got the title. Um, now let's add the paragraph. And I'm just going to copy this for quickness sake and we got our paragraph there and then I'm going to link 
um, you can visit the actual Wikipedia on Harry Potter here. And we got our link there. So how can we adjust the size of the image? Um, I actually think that that's fine. The size, I'm gonna change this to each one to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Get a hint. All right, we did a fake person, but we did someone. So I think that's pretty good. All right, let's move on to the next one. This was the wiki article. Okay. Lorium Ipsum, classes and IDs. The two attributes we'll come across most are the class and ID attributes. Any element can use them. While class and ID are used for labeling elements, the two have important differences. An element can be assigned multiple class values in the form of a space separated list. Um, each element can only have one ID value with no spaces. Every ID value should be unique in the entire page. Additionally, ID can be used to link another part of the same page, such as the heading. This can be matched with an A anchor element attribute via a hashtag symbol followed by the identifier used for the ID. So right there is what it's doing. Um, lastly, where one ID can be assigned to a single element, a class can be assigned to many. The value for the class and ID attributes must always be lowercase. If their name is m made of multiple words, they should be separated by dashes. A good way to remember class versus ID is there can be multiple students in a class, but each student should have a unique ID. That's a good way to look at it. Um, division element. One of the most common ways of creating sections for a page is with the div element, short for division. The div element is kind of like a generic container with no particular meaning. The element and the class and ID attributes can go hand in hand. For example, look at this website. Div class page section ID about me. All right, and then this one social media. The div element is used to group content and be labeled by the class and ID attributes. Lorium Ipsum is commonly used as placeholder content to better visualize how a web page's text should look on the final copy. Create a file called Lorium Ipsum.html, add an H1 heading element that says untitled, add two anchor elements, one with the attribute heading one and one with the attribute heading two. Underneath, create two div elements with a class value of section each div should contain. All right, so let's get started here with our doc type HTML, HTML, close the HTML. I'm gonna add a head here. Title H one heading and we want that to say untitled to anchor elements.
All right, right now, that's what that shows, okay? Um, underneath, create two div elements. So div the class of section All right, underneath create two developments, one H2 element with the class of heading. So inside here we should have H2 class equals heading ID equals heading one. Right. And then P element and let me get that. Post this here in the run. Okay. And then div class section div. So this one should have H2 class equals heading, ID equals heading dash two. Um, um, I'm gonna put heading one in there and then here do heading two and then here we're gonna do p slash p I'm gonna copy this paste this here and that's a lot of text there and let's run that uh, that didn't work for some reason, so why not? P, did I not close it? I bet you I didn't close it. Um, also, why doesn't it let me go over? Here we go. Let's keep going. Okay, I did close it, so what is happening here? Um, let's see if we can undo here. I don't think I can. Let me just delete this stuff. Make sure that I did everything else right. Slash P. Test. Oh, I completely messed this up. All right, so heading dash two, forgot that, run, there it goes. Okay, so now if I post this in there, there it goes. So that's heading one, heading two, but I think if I do, um, I'm gonna add to the other one. Let's see, so I already put some stuff in there for that, I'm gonna, Go like this and paste some more. Run. There we go. So now it's moving us to the heading. And this only moves down because that's as far down as it goes. So, um, all right. I think uh, we did good. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, but I do want to thank you guys for hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.